Good morning to you on this Monday morning. I trust that you had a wonderful weekend. We start the new week again with our daily vitamin. And today's vitamin is praise. I woke up this morning and my very first thought was what David wrote in Psalm 139. When I awake, I am still with you. What a wonderful way to wake up. What a wonderful thought to have, to wake up in the presence of God. It's a great way to start the day, to focus your mind upon the Lord, to think upon Him, to take a few moments to thank Him for a night's rest, for a brand new day, for new opportunities to live, to love, and to serve. He is with us. In Psalm 119, it says seven times a day, I will praise you. We know that the number seven means complete. It's God's number. It's the number of fullness. So we should praise God not only seven times a day, but our whole life, our whole day, should be one of praise. If we do so, we will have a much better day and we will honor God. The Apostle Paul wrote, whatever you do in word or deed, do it unto the Lord giving thanks to Him. If we season everything that we do with thanksgiving, if we live a life of thanksgiving, of worship and praise, then the works of our hands will be established. The things that we do will turn out much better. And we will be like a sweet fragrance when we meet other people. It's so wonderful to meet a person who's full of joy, who praises God, who is thankful, who's not a whinger, who doesn't complain. That's the way God wants us to be. He wants us to go about our daily chores, giving thanks to Him. After all, it's His life. It's His breath, it's His air that we breathe. This body belongs to Him. Our life belongs to Him. Therefore, every day we should come anew to Him and thank Him and offer ourselves again to Him and ask that He lead us and guide us. And that's what we do with our daily vitamins. We come before him every morning and we ask that he would lead us and guide us. We thank him for everything that he has given to us. So today we join together in praying and asking for his blessing and thanking him for all the wonderful things that he does, for the wonderful day that lies ahead, whatever it may be, it will be a good day because God is with us. So let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this brand new day. We thank you for a night's rest. We thank you that we awake and we are still with you and you are still with us. For we rely upon your promise where you have said in your word, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. You are with us always to the close of the age. So we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for the life that you have given to us. We thank you for our physical bodies. We thank you for every opportunity that we will have today to serve you. May we see everything that we do as a service to you. And may we do it with an attitude of gratitude in everything. So Lord, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you. We praise you especially for the gift of your son Jesus, for the presence of Jesus in our lives through the Holy Spirit. We thank you that we are never alone. We thank you that we are never without your wisdom, your guiding hand. So we pray, take us by the hand and lead us today, Lord. Help us to walk this day with you. May our life reflect your love wherever we go today. On this Monday, it's a special day for us here in New South Wales. As children go back to school full time, we pray, Lord, for them. We pray that you would protect them and the teachers. We pray for your protective shield around them. We pray that the coronavirus would stop spreading. We pray, Lord, for healing in the community. We pray, Lord, for those who are sick, who are dying. We pray that you would comfort the mourning. We pray that you would strengthen all who go to work today. May we all go to work with a joyful and grateful and thankful attitude. Father, we commend this day to you. We pray for those who are in need. We thank you that you have promised us that you will supply all of our needs 
according to your riches and glory. And we stand upon your word today. And we join together now in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a very, very blessed Monday. God be with you till we meet again. Hopefully it's tomorrow morning for our next vitamin. Till then, have a blessed day.